Welcome back to Afternoon Live. Here to show us how to make brown sugar peach shortcakes, we welcome back professional baker, Megan Diaz. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you, thanks for having me. This Happy is the back. perfect recipe. We're on the cusp of losing yes. these beautiful peaches. I know, so. the countdown is real. So we're talking shortcake. Yes. So how difficult or basic is a shortcake to make? If you can make a biscuit or a scone, you can make a shortcake. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know if I can do that, but I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> and I've got some really great tips that cool. make it much easier. Nice. Because um, sometimes you read some of those recipes, they're super daunting. Yeah. And you're just like cutting butter into flour. Oh my gosh, what do I do? But I'm I already out halfway through the recipe. <laughs> I haven't even gotten the yes. ingredients out. Okay. So, and it's all in a bowl. So oh, nice. You don't have to pull out the mixer. It's easy. It's hands on. Oh, Kiddos beautiful. Can help. Okay. All that fun stuff. So, in a bowl, we can add our all purpose flour. So, okay. we've got one and a quarter cup. And then we're going to add our leavening. So we've got a tablespoon of baking powder. Okay. And then a little bit of salt. Nice. And we'll just kind of mix that together. And then here is my trick. Sometimes you see with biscuits and um, scones, they say to cut the butter into the yeah. flour. And so you normally you cut it into cubes, and then you sit there and you rub and you rub and you rub, yeah. and it just seems to take forever. I have a little trick. You grate your butter. So take your cold butter straight out of the fridge. Yeah. Good old hand box grater, cheese Why grater, not? and then it, cu it cuts the time in half. Oh, so. that's beautiful. Yeah, and it's really exactly nice. And that's exactly the kind of texture and yes. the little bits that you need yeah. to really so get Yeah, so it's really in. great. And so this, I started doing this with my biscuits and my scones and my shortcakes just to like make my life easier. Nice, and for sure. Yeah, so if like the, your grates are a little big, you can get in there and kind of rub them down a little bit more, okay. but for the most part, the, the work is done for you. Okay. So. And the, but the trick is just make sure it's cold. Mm -hmm. So make sure your butter's cold straight out of the fridge. Because you want there to be some chunks of the butter, right? So yeah. when you buy it and you get those mm -hmm. little buttery And it helps morsels. like give those like light fluffy layers okay. into it too. Okay. So, um, and then we're gonna add our uh, brown sugar to that nice. too. So traditionally you'll see uh, shortcakes, either they'll have no sugar in them mm -hmm. or they'll have just regular um, granulated sugar. Okay. But I swapped out the for brown sugar because peaches and brown sugar are just like that sounds really good. So delicious yeah. together. So um, peaches kind of give you some of those fall vibes too, mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. so the brown sugar really helps drive that home. For sure. So. Okay. And then here's our wet ingredients. I have one egg and then a half a cup of buttermilk. Okay. If you don't have buttermilk, you can totally use sour cream or even yogurt. Okay. I've done that before. Oh so yeah. So a pinch. Um, but just something a little tangy okay. helps a lot with this. So Nice. And we'll add that straight in. Easy. Easy. I like this one bowl recipe. Yeah, I have, it's kind of been my thing this year. Yeah, Cause why not? I just, I don't want to be fussy. I was going to say, once you make everything and it's done, you have this delicious treat and then somebody's got to do the dishes. And, yeah. and it's not going to be you, <laughs> I'll tell you that. If you baked it, yes. you're not responsible for the aftermath. <laughs> That's right, too. <laughs> And so we're just gonna mix this together until it comes to a little bit of a shaggy dough. Okay. There's gonna be some flour still that needs to, but we're gonna turn this out onto the counter and finish it out. Shaggy just, dough. Yeah. It's a, it's a pastry <laughs> term sometimes you hear, so. <laughs> and then we'll just lightly flour the counter. Okay, this is the part that makes me nervous. And this is where it gets really messy. Yeah, you're gonna, you have to get your hands dirty. Okay. But it's all worth it. It is. So just dump it all out on the counter. And it's just kind of the same technique for your biscuits and pie dough and stuff like that. And you just want to kind of press it together. Okay. Try not to overwork it. Not trying to get that butter too warm. Just kind of getting all the goodies in all one the goodies form. In there. Yeah. Okay. And then, so you're still seeing those nice big flakes of yeah. butter. That's what we're looking okay. for. And just kind of keep working it until all that flour is incorporated. If it looks a little dry, that's totally okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, and this is easy. Super easy. Okay. And you don't even need a rolling pin. You just pat it. Okay. Till you're about a half an inch. Okay. And this only makes four shortcakes, but it's so easy to double up. Um, so if you just have like a nice little dinner party, yeah. or if you want to make more, you can definitely double it's up. It's nice recipe. to have a quick recipe for just at home with the family too, yeah. when you don't have like so much yeah. food left over. I always yeah. find myself, anytime I make anything at home, there's so many leftovers, we never yeah. get through all of it. So I know, this is, this is nice. So I like to make some like smaller size recipes yeah. for people, so. And this is just a two and a half inch um, biscuit cutter. Okay. Um, honestly, if it's a little bit bigger, like three, you can use a glass too, if you don't have oh, a biscuit yeah. cutter. So okay. that works just as well. And then you just cut them out. 
Beautiful. And another like trick I like to do is after I put them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, pop it in the freezer for like 10 minutes. Okay. So th this is a good time, preheat your oven. Perfect. Put them in the freezer. Okay. Um, and then you can- get, get your people to clean up your dishes. Exactly, <laughs> yes. And then you can work on your peaches and your um, oh, whipped cream too. So, okay. um, for the peaches, I brought in some uh, cinnamon, so for mm. some um, kind of uh, autumn spices. Yes. So it's got brown sugar, bourbon if you want okay, to. Okay, I see. And then They're some so vanilla. Beautiful. Yeah, and, and cinnamon. And I can smell them, yeah. oh my goodness, okay. And then the whipped cream, I did a mascarpone whipped cream. So some mascarpone cheese, a little powdered Fancy. sugar. Yeah, but you can also do a classic whipped cream too sure. if you want to keep it simple. Why not? So, um, but then the biscuits, or the, excuse me, the shortcakes get baked at 400 degrees um, for about 20 minutes until okay. they're nice and golden brown. Beautiful. And then let them cool a little bit before you slice them up and serve them. Okay. So, and they stay great for a couple of days too if you put them in a um, tight container. Sure. So if you want to make them a day ahead, they'll hold up really great Okay, too, and so. can you maybe make dough ahead and freeze it or do you want to make it? You can do it? that as well. Okay. But I just make sure you cut them out and then freeze oh, the little pucks. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah not right. the whole dough itself. Can I dive in? Yes, this that one's so for tempting. you. I can see the glaziness yeah. is that a word on top of so this so the brown here. sugar and that a little bit of bourbon and the vanilla i need to get a piece of everything oh, i'm yeah. making carnage here but <laughs> okay okay here we go oh gosh mm. that is so good thank you i want to eat all the peaches now <laughs> i know we have like a few days of ripe peaches left yeah and then it's yeah so take advantage now so yeah what a treat. Thank, Thank you. you, Megan. Thank it was you. a pleasure cooking with you yeah, today. Nice well, you did all the work. I just I just tasted. But thanks anyway. <laughs> we'll have this recipe and more information about Megan on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.